At first glance, One UI 8 might look like a minor update to One UI 7, but Samsung's latest interface actually hides several meaningful upgrades beneath the surface. While the visual overhaul isn't really that drastic, the improvements in usability, AI features, app design, and even Samsung DeX make this one of the more subtle but telling updates in recent years. Let's break down what's new with One UI 8. Samsung has kept the familiar layout for the notification and quick panels, but with some small visual refinements. One UI 8 adds slightly more defined borders and rounded accents across system panels for a cleaner, layered look. The gallery app gets a fresh redesign. The menu is now more compact and uses a two-tone blur effect and icon-focused layout, making options easier to distinguish with a more translucent look and feel. My Files. A sleeker, more itemized layout replaces the old blocky list, allowing more information to appear on screen. It's easier to browse and optimize for a more hybrid one-handed use. Samsung Internet adopts the same visual language as Gallery in terms of UI with a redesigned tab bar and menu layout, improving consistency across core apps. The Weather app now features a more 3D and lifelike scene complete with layered visuals like clouds, grass, and sand dunes replacing the previous flat, more 2D-like graphics. The Calendar app introduces a smarter and more intuitive layout. You can now toggle between event and reminder without having to choose one at the start. Meanwhile, the Reminder app ditches the old hamburger menu for a cleaner, tile-based layout and three-dot menu at the top. Multitasking gets a small but clever boost with the 90-10 window ratio, letting users minimize one app to pretty much 10% of the display and being able to quickly switch between the two apps in the 90% view with a tap or a swipe. I mean, it's technically faster than gesture switching between apps, as you can see, you know, but you can still just gesture switch should you want to. New in Samsung Labs under settings is the back swipe preview, which if toggled, pretty much gives you the same animation iOS has when you swipe from the left of the display to go back in the menus or a browser, which in turn gives us a preview of the preview screen or the menu. Now do note that this option only appears in labs when using swipe gestures over buttons for navigation. What used to be referred to as DeX in the quick settings panel is now wireless DeX, which is more of a naming update rather than a functional change. The biggest functional leap is the new Samsung DeX experience. Samsung completely reworked the desktop interface, relocating the taskbar, improving the app drawer to not take up the whole screen when open, a more updated battery icon, and finally, adding widget support to the home screen. This makes DeX feel more like a true PC environment, with drag and drop flexibility and better multitasking between phone and monitor or even your TV. While the Galaxy AI section looks nearly identical, One UI 8 adds new capabilities under the hood. Drawing Assist now includes additional art styles such as Art Nouveau, Webtoon Soft Illustration, and Institune. Additionally, the interface for generating or editing AI images has been slightly refined with a full search bar and improved preview options. Next up, we're going to be talking about now brief updates, which only apply to the Galaxy S24 series and the newer generations. All in all, it looks very much the same, but introduces some new features. With One UI 8, we now get a voice narration toggle that reads out your daily summary. New content integration like parking spot reminders and contextual YouTube recommendations based on your account. Another update for a feature only found in the S24 series and above is the instant audio eraser a powerful tool that removes background noise, which we first saw on the Galaxy Fold and Flip 7 series. Compared to the old and already present audio eraser feature, One UI 8 just allows us to use or toggle this feature more easily by presenting us with shortcuts in places we wouldn't find it before, like viewing videos in gallery, voice recordings in the Samsung Notes app, the voice recorder app, and transcribed calls. With this feature, we can now clean up recordings instantly rather than having to manually open audio eraser each time. And that's pretty much it. While One U8 doesn't radically change the look of your Galaxy phone, it's a much deeper update than it appears. Between the refreshed core apps, new Galaxy AI tools, system-level multitasking, and the revamped DeX, Samsung has brought meaningful quality of life improvements throughout this update. If the hints of One UI 8.5 are anything to go by, we can expect an even bigger visual overhaul next time. So, what do you guys think of these changes between One UI 7 and One UI 8? 
let us know in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video or, you know, found it informative, please do drop a like and subscribe to watch more. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms, that's Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And of course, visit yougetech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Vinose with One UI 8, and I'll see you guys in the next video.